Hello and welcome back to another 5 Minute Friday here on Meaningful Money. How you been doing? God, something uncomfortable on this chair. Oh, oh, it's a copy of the Meaningful Money Handbook. How did that get there? Pete'sBook.com. Buy it if you haven't already. Review it on Amazon if you haven't already. It really helps. Thanks so much. Okay, I've had a question in from Carl, and he's asking specifically about diversifying pensions. He says, Pete, you talk a lot about consolidating pensions, but what about diversifying and reducing risk that way? So I thought I'd address that. So as ever, let's put five minutes on the clock down here. Let's say a quick thank you to my friends at 7IM for sponsoring the show down here, and let's crack on. So I've done a couple of videos about how safe is your money when it's invested, and I'll link to those below this one, and also I think I might be able to do like a banner thing up here in the top left. No idea how to do that at this point, so we're all learning, right? Carl is right. I do bang on a lot about consolidation, and part of that is because I'm a massive believer in simplicity when it comes to your personal finances. The simpler things are, the easier they are to stay on top of. Many people amass half a dozen pensions with four different providers, and it can be difficult to know how much you've got where and why. So consolidating, bringing all those pensions into one, is a great way of simplifying things. As long as you don't lose any important benefits by coming out of one of your existing plans. So it's really important you know enough about your existing pensions before you decide to transfer out. Consolidation sometimes reduces costs as well, even though pensions are arguably as cheap as they've ever been. Some older plans are more expensive than they need to be these days. So sometimes, not always, sometimes consolidating can reduce costs. But by far the biggest factor is focus. It's important always to be intentional about your finances, to stay on top of them, to manage them intentionally. And having fewer options to keep on top of is obviously gonna help you maintain your focus on your financial well-being into the future. So those are the benefits really of consolidation, but diversification has benefits as well, spreading the money around. And the obvious one to address is, if you spread your money around, your money is less at risk. Well, at risk of what? Well, at risk of your pension company going bust for a start, that is unlikely, but not impossible. Financial Services Compensation Scheme covers 90% of the benefits inside an insured pension. So we've got to be careful here because insured pensions, usually provided by insurance companies, are different from the open architecture platform type pensions that you tend to get very often online these days. FSCS protects £50,000 within those, but again, it's not quite that straightforward. So obviously, having multiple pension providers reduces the risk of you losing everything if your pension provider goes bust. But your pension provider shouldn't be able to touch your money if they go bust. Your money should be segregated from the pension company's money under something called the client money and assets rules. And of course, multiple providers, while it has benefits, also has some disadvantages as we've spoken, particularly as the numbers get bigger. So I've got clients with well over seven figures inside pensions, and can you imagine splitting that into 50,000 pound pots? It would be completely unwieldy. So sometimes you trade off risk for simplicity and cost savings and ease of life. Of course, you can diversify within one or two pension wrappers by holding different funds. Generally, that's always a good idea. I do talk about having a core of maybe one or two multi-asset funds. I've done videos and podcasts on that as well as to what they are, but there's never any harm in having multiple funds inside a pension wrapper, as long as they are aiming towards the same end, as long as they are a cohesive portfolio, rather than just random stuff you picked based on whatever adverse you saw that day. So Carl, yes, there are benefits to diversifying your pension, spreading over multiple providers, and definitely multiple funds within one or two pension wrappers. But you need to assess how much sleep you're gonna lose by having everything in one place. We all deal with risk differently, we all approach risk differently, and we can all cope with different levels of risk. So it's important that you are comfortable with whatever you decide. I might be happier to hold more money inside one pension than you, and that's okay. The world is a rich tapestry of human beings, and it's a good job we're all different, otherwise life would be boring. Unless everyone was like me, which would just be awesome. I am looking slimmer though, do you think? Six weeks of Slimming World doing its thing? Mm -hmm. So I'm a big believer in the principle of you should make things as simple as possible, but no simpler than you can personally cope with. So you decide how much diversification or simplification is the right amount for you to be able to sleep. Hope that helps, Carl. Thank you so much for the question. Keep them coming. Meaningfulmoney.tv slash askp. 
repeat. If you want to ask me a question that I'll answer here on 5 Minute Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week.